Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And y'all, this is insane. I was sleeping when all this stuff went down, when we got our first look at Draculaura Gen 3. Uh, in person, real life pictures of her in and out of the box. Uh, everything, her new body mold, articulation, hair rooting, uh, box art, where you, you know where they found her. Every We have so much information, so much tea to talk about. So let's get into it. <laughs> I'm doing this uh, li voiceover live from my uh, pictures here so I can just give y'all my full thought process. So uh, thanks to at Caddy 13 Noir on Instagram, um, they actually found uh, Draculaura in store in like a smaller branch toy store. It's not like a, not like Toys R Us or like a Target. It's just like a small toy store. Um, and they just, they happened to find this doll just like on the shelves. Um, and apparently she was 38 Canadian. So uh, I did see that she's gonna retail for 25 or something like that in the US. So she's a very good price. Um, <clears throat> and no, before you ask, they did not find any other dolls, only Draculaura. So here she is um, and um, here, is a better look at her once they actually bought her. She looks great. Uh, so the box design all along was legit. The The first look that we got for Cleo was legit. It was real because um, it has the same box design. And I cannot believe that, you know, remember the blurry pictures we had of these dolls? Yeah, it, they're real. They were real all along. That's insane. So. Here at the bottom, we can see it says Dracula, her name, and we can see the artwork of her, Count Fabulous, because yes, that apparently is Count Fabulous. We'll get to that in a second. And then we have Laguna's artwork and Claudine here as well. Um, you know, despite me not liking the artwork style, I feel like it could be better. It's still cute. I just feel like it's it could be more aesthetic, you know? I don't know. <laughs> But I do like that. I do think um, the names here for each character are written uniquely uh, like a signature. I love that aspect. I like the little heart with fangs and bat wings uh, here. Of course, it has Count Fabulous, his name and the pets. So I do like that they're still the same pets, but in a different design. Uh, he looks cute but um he doesn't really look like himself anymore so <laughs> i don't i don't see him as count fabulous he's just like a new bat with the same name <laughs> so for the actual doll uh she does not come with a doll stand or a brush it's already confirmed as we'll see in a couple of seconds but so this is all she comes with a pair of sunglasses a drink a uh, sun cream, which we did get in a previous Dracula uh, Gloom Beach pack. So this is not a new mold, or maybe it is, but the actual like, it's not the first time we've had like a coffin shaped sunscreen uh, bottle. We've had that before. And then she has even more food with a bretzel uh, with some bat wings and eyes on with, in a little uh, bag. So that's really cute. And of course, we also have her iconic cape here and a little backpack in plastic. So for the actual doll here, let's move on to, oh yeah, so let's take a look at the back of the box here. So here's the back of the box. Um, it has the interior of Monster High and the same art style. Here we can see a banner. Uh, here's Come Fabulous. Here's Dracula holding a drink. Um, the artwork here is the same that we've seen in that uh, coffin bean playset that I made a video on uh, yesterday. Uh, and here we actually have a little bit of information on Dracula. So here is, uh, so here it says Monster Type. Fantastic Vampire, Monster Must Haves, SPF 500, and Cherry Juice, okay. Monster Pet, Count Fabulous. So it's only, it's not a lot, but uh, maybe that's because it's like the international version. Maybe on the um, US version, there's uh, more text. But um, I do like that they have a little bio here, at least. Um, that's really cute. And of course, we have the other ghouls here in the background. Now, for the full picture here of Draculaura, um, uh, she, she looks great. <laughs> she, 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 I do like that we have different body types here and I will get into the backlash, um, in a second when we talk about that. But, um, yeah, people have not been, uh, some people have been 
it being very rude about Mon uh, Dracula having a, uh, I guess, a unique body type with, I guess, you know, thicker thighs and like uh, a, a bigger hips, uh, wider hips. Like uh, people have been have been surprisingly very mean and rude about it and, and um, saying it's not body shaming because it's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> Girl, we'll get into that in a second, but um, her outfit looks cute. And then uh, here's a close up of the rest of the ghouls. Uh, they look cute, I can't wait. So also here's a close up of Draculaura. Here's the barcode in case you live in Canada as well. Uh, start searching because apparently, you know, they're out there already. So that's really exciting. And then here we have the actual Draculaura doll out of the box with everything she comes with. So um, she looks great. I, I think the accessories for the most part are a little bit unnecessary. Um, like the backpack is okay. I like the bat. The, the coffin the coffin shaped phone the eye coffin I like the pet you know come fabulous it's a nice mold painted very nicely uh, the sunglasses I feel like are okay but I would definitely get rid of the um, the SPF bottle and the pretzel with the uh, you know the paper that the pretzels in which is a, it's a separate it's a separate piece um, I, I would get rid of those two accessories and maybe give her oh also the the cherry drink. I mean, it's a cute drink, and as we'll see in a second, it does open up. But I wish they had given us a brush and a stand instead of these accessories. Um, you know, because I just I, they feel a little bit unnecessary, personally to me at least. Um, the cape is a very nice touch, um, and otherwise, she does not have a hat. The witch hat is not there. Instead of the witch hat, she has a cute little headband in pink with a bat on the on the on the left. Uh, so that's really cute. Her bangs look very nice. The face up's not pixelated at all. I love it. It looks great. The earrings have the uh, have the um, pink and black on on uh, the opposite side of the hair. Uh, the bow is cute. I'm not sure if that's plastic or if it's like a fabric bow ribbon there with like the actual bat wings. Um, she has overall for the outfit. She's wearing a corset piece at the top here with a certain pattern and then underneath that she's wearing a really big kind of like um i don't know what to call this like it's a very nice almost like see-through fabric uh has these ruffles on the front here um and it's long sleeved and uh she's wearing that over underneath the corset and underneath this uh huge shirt she is wearing these shorts in black uh, that have also a pattern. I feel like this outfit is very cute. Definitely, I do like it. It's very casual, very chic. Um, but uh, the cape is obviously gonna help a lot to kind of make this outfit feel more complete. So I do like that they have the cape there with that nice fabric and a pattern. Um, and then uh, there's her legs. <laughs> She's wearing some black thigh high socks. I love the fabric, they look so cute. And the shoes look great as well. They're pink, new molds, and uh, they're very simple. I will give them that. They're very simple, not, not very like um, over the top, like usual Monster High shoes, but I do like the added mold here with the heart and bat wings in a lighter shade of pink. Um, and her hair is very long. We'll get to that in a second as well. Um, and her hands, uh, her body is a new mold, I believe. And I do think that some of these dolls have unique body molds. So that's exciting as well. So this is Dracula with all she comes with. And here we have a better look at all her clothing pieces. And uh, oh look, her necklace. And we can also see a better look at her actual body mold. So as you can see here, um, she does have some articulation for the upper torso. Uh, if you ask me if I need that, I'm not, I don't need that. I personally don't feel like I want upper chest articulation. I don't need that in my dolls. I feel like that's more for collector dolls perhaps, or like, you know, lifelike. Um, but yeah, we do have the chest, the upper torso articulation. We have a video on how it moves. We'll see that in a second as well. Um, so I feel like that's okay. That's cool. But again, if they had taken that aspect away and had given us a doll stand or a brush instead, I would have been all for it, you know. Um, and her underwear uh, have a unique pattern. I think it's like web, 
like a web shape. Um, her uh, arms, her hands do come off her arms as well. And her thighs are, you know, very, very wide. Her hips, you know, it's like very proportionate. I mean, it's like, again, I feel like it's a unique body shape to her. I feel like um, Cleo's body shape is different to Draculaura's here. Um, and I do like that her legs are very thick because like we don't see that. We don't see that most of the time. So I do like that we have some, you know, some real legs here, you know, I like that. Um, and then here's her foot, no articulation. Um, and she has a rig on, ring on as well. So that's her uh, kind of like body articulation. She has very good articulation. That's great. Uh, so here was here's what I'm talking about. Uh, this has like a cobweb design um, pattern on the underwear. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it's just a pattern. It's cute. I mean, but also did they have to do that? No. So I do appreciate the thought, but um, yeah, I, I didn't need that to be there. <laughs> it's okay. Um, now here's whole, all her accessories, her clothing pieces. Um, I feel like for 25 uh, bucks, you do get a decent amount of things here. And I do, all, as we'll see in a second, um, I keep saying that, trust me, we'll get to all the pictures. But uh, we, there's a lot of different combinations you can do, you can make with all these clothing pieces, which is great. Um, and then here's a close up of Come Fabulous. Again, I feel like it's cute but um he just looks so different like not my count fabulous here <laughs> it's a different one here's a back here's the close-up of the backpack it does open up a little bit um and here's a close-up of the phone the back here of the phone and the front so we can see some apps open it's very cute i do love the eye coffin uh here's a close-up at these sunglasses in black they don't have any painted details but they look very cute uh, and here's just a close-up of all her clothing pieces. I love this shirt. Like this shirt here, I love it. I feel like it's very cute. The corset top, the bottoms are very basic, but they're cute. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I wish that instead of like a pair of shorts, she'd have, had, she'd have gotten like a, like, a, like a cute skirt, like a pleated skirt or something. I feel like that would have looked way better instead of, uh, instead of like a pair of shorts, but I guess, I don't know. It's cute. I still like it very much. Oh yeah, here's a comparison um, between her and a OG uh, uh, doll, Monster High doll. Uh, so Frankenstein here. Uh, and like I mentioned, there's a different ways you can combine, a, a com, combi, combine, yeah, combine her outfit pieces. So here she has her shorts on and a corset. Um, but she doesn't have the uh, length, the long sleeved uh, shirt, and said she just has the cape on, and her sunglasses look so cute on her. But yeah, so they're basically the same height size, which is great. Um, but you can definitely see she has like bigger legs. Like it's a different body shape overall, definitely. Every, even her arms are thicker, which is great. They're sturdier. I love that. Um, not as flimsy like the OG dolls dolls uh body dolls uh had and then here's a close-up of her with her phone i think she's just great she's holding her cup here i, sh I she looks great I i'm love i'm loving her her look um she just i feel like she her face ups really just doing it for me she looks so cute i do like her outfit a lot uh look at that that's so cute <laughs> um and her backpack yeah i love her i feel like she's very cute and i i definitely i don't think i would change too much about her oh yeah here's a comparison between the arms and the hands yeah again bigger sturdier i love that i really like that um oh here her ears yes they are pointy uh they look so cute also her uh her uh, side profile is very nice i like that it's so cute very cute oh yeah and if you were wondering uh it does seem like you can kind of like switch the shoes around i think they do fit as you can tell um yeah she can share them but they're not a perfect match so that yeah um oh the rooting the rooting is okay apparently it's not too thick but it's okay enough uh, so it's not too dense. Um, and yeah, here she's wearing her backpack. I just love it. It's so cute. I love it. She's just so cute. Oh yeah, here we have a uh, video of her uh, bangs lifted up. 
uh, so we can see her eyebrows. Oh, she looks so, so good with the eyebrows. I love that they have an arch and her hair is very long. It's very long and very straight, very much straight. Um, and uh, very, like I said, like thickly rooted enough. I do love the half and half uh, pink and black hair. I love it. It looks so cute. Um, and just comb it through a little bit. It'll look magnificent. Here's a box, the side of the box, um, the ongoing uh, color there with the yellow, green, uh, orange and yeah it's not much to the box unfortunately it's just it's a very basic box but um it's a very cute design um and i do i yeah it just looks i mean i wish there was more on the back you know it just it looks a little pain it looks a little plain to me personally i wish there was more but yeah oh yeah here's a video of um the upper torso articulation it is very decent. You can definitely pose her way more than an, than a OG Monster High doll. So you can do a lot of more poses with her. It looks so cute. Yeah, I mean, I do like it, um, but would I have preferred a doll stand and a brush instead of this added articulation? Yes, yes, I would have preferred that any day. <laughs> yeah, so they found this doll in Toy Tales in Cambridge, Ontario. Um, so if you live in the uh, vicinity, Perhaps you know that toy shop um, <clears throat> and you might just find another one, which is great. So I cannot wait. I mean, it's just, yeah, hang on. Let me just, yeah, there we go. So she, here she's wearing the cape, everything, her accessories. Um, I like her. She's just so cute. Like, I definitely love this outfit. I think the highlight for me is the cape and the, the big long sleeve shirt. I just love the fabric, the material, and I love these little ruffles. And her face up is divine. I do like it. it's not pixelated. Um, and yeah, overall, she is just stunning. I mean, I do, I, I, I just, I would have loved to see doll stands, but I guess it's not happening. So that's a shame. Uh, or a diary as well. Now, Caddy Noir, Caddy Thirteen Noir actually did uh, answer some questions on their stories as well. So I'm just gonna be uh, swiping through here. Pause and read if you're interested. Um, so yeah, there's the hair pushed back. Here's a toy store where they actually found them. We can see a Barbie next to her, um, and it seems like they had like maybe a couple be in the back there. Um, but yeah, interesting that they are releasing them already in smaller toy stores, which is, uh, crazy. Oh yeah, the hair is Saran. Is the hair Saran? Um, they're not sure. Maybe a different type. Um, see the, 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 the head, the head, the face up, it looks great. It's not pixelated. Actually looks very detailed. I do appreciate that very much. Um, and then here's a picture of, um, oh yeah, because they were the first ones to talk about this doll, so they uh, got a lot of attention. They got a lot of attention because, you know, obviously everyone's excited. And honestly, everyone's going crazy about Draculaura. Everyone's very excited about finding her, um, about someone finding her already, that, you know, they will look like this in real life. Um, it look, it's just crazy. Oh yeah, here's a comparison between a Rainbow High doll. So they are smaller, but basically, yeah, same size like a Monster High doll otherwise. Oh yeah, the articulation for the knee, uh, fairly good, but obviously it's not not double jointed. So that's just how how, how far it can go. Um, oh yeah, here's a comparison comparison between other Dracula dolls. Um, yeah, looking cute. Uh, oh yeah, she's. I think she's also like the same pink pink shade. Um, but she look, she might look a little bit different, her pink skin tone. Um, and then uh, the articulation is not stiff. Here's her accessories. Yeah, you can remove it. Um, yeah, it opens. Uh, that's what I was talking. Yeah, that, I, I said we would see this in a second and it didn't, it took longer than a second, but um, here it is. <laughs> it opens. I don't know why it opens, like what's the purpose here, but uh, it opens, it's cute. Um, do her, oh yeah, so the quality, uh, it does feel good, but overall I feel like very, very nice. Uh, it's hemmed, as we can see, cuffed. So yeah, no, the, the doll has good cl uh, clothing pieces quality, which is very important. Um, yeah, so here's her glasses on. Um, here she is in her box again. Oh, the screenings, they all seem to be fairly good. So that's also very promising. Uh, she sits pretty well. 
um and oh yeah here she she's wearing the cape as a skirt here that's so cute okay that looks really cute low-key loving that look let's get into the whole uh the whole backlash of draculaura having a little bit wider hips and thighs like People, uh, some people have been posting comments like these on Facebook or whatever saying that Gen 3 Draculaura can't wait to pop their heads off and put them on normal bodies. If you think it's body shaming, sorry, it's a piece of plastic, I'm not a human, I'm allowed to have an opinion even if it's not yours. Um, and then they attached this picture that someone drew uh, and apparently they have a Patreon, so good for them. <laughs> Um, that, uh, yeah, of a Draculaura who's a bigger size. Wow. I mean, uh, this is from Rebel Queen's uh, story, by the way. Hey, Queen. Um, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. Uh, they're saying it's not body shaming. Yes, because by body shaming the doll, you're body shaming everything, everyone who identifies with this doll who identifies with that body type, body proportions, or features. Um, so them saying it's not body shaming is kind of like, do they know what they're saying? <laughs> like, do they import, do they uh, recognize the importance that dolls, the importance and um, impact that dolls have on kids, on people, collectors, people calling the doll we identify with, calling them like fat or like body shaming or or saying that they want to switch their heads, uh, pop their heads off and put them on normal bodies. is you, you know what you're saying to people who identify with this body shape? That the body they have is not nice. How can they say that? Like, it's just, I don't know how they can say stuff like this. This is it's very questionable to me. Um, uh, same here with Marika Wolfgang. Like, I'm serious. Y'all, please be respectful in the comments. I cannot believe people are actually talking crap about Draculaura and her thighs, I guess. Because one, uh, she's not even really, like... She's not obese. She's not fat. This Draculaura just happens to have wider hips or thighs. How is that fat? Or like, I don't like what the like. That's that's not okay. Like here with fairy tale dolls, they put it really uh, very perfectly here into words. Um, is she's yeah like Draculaura is not fat. She is not. She just has. She's just slightly curvy, and people are already already having fits over the different body shapes, and like they they want to just put them on normal body. Like what? Who decides what normal is? Like what is this? What what are people? This is crazy. So, anyways, um, yeah, exactly. Cultural icon. But yeah, that was a long take. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to leave any thoughts or questions you may have and down below. Let me know what you thought of this new Draculaura doll. Remember, please stay mindful, respectful in the comments. Uh, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Monster High doll news, doll reviews, episode reaction videos, movie, movie doll tea. I love movie tea, animated show tea, doll tea, a lot of content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay PG. Kisses.